Hi, everyone. My name is Gregory Roger from Inoria. I'm going to present our work, uh, LCR Net Localization, Classification, Regression for Human Pose. So we present the first method that, given uh, a natural image, detects the human present in the scene and jointly estimates their 2D and 3D pose. So our methods um, can handle uh, a wide variety of uh, 3D poses. It can also uh, tackle uh, self-occlusions. It can also deal with uh, occlusions by uh, objects uh, present uh, in the scene. And we are the first method that always returns the full body pose estimation, even in cases of truncation by uh, image boundaries. So our, our method is uh, inspired by uh, recent state-of-the-art object detectors, such, such as uh, faster uh, RCNN. Instead of uh, classifying objects, we will classify human poses. To do so, we define a set of uh, K pose classes that correspond to a full body 2D and corresponding 3D pose. Uh, we call these uh, the K anchor poses. And these are obtained by simply uh, clustering uh, a human pose uh, space. So I'll give you a brief overview of the, of the architecture. Given an input uh, image, we first have a region proposal network that will select uh, n regions uh, in the image. Here we only show two uh, regions for, for clarity. Then a classification branch will uh, score the K anchor poses in the N uh, region of interest, obtaining uh, N times K uh, scores. So for example, here on the right, uh, the, the anchor pose corresponding to a seated person is obtaining the higher score. After that, the regression branch will refine uh, the N times K 2D and 3D poses using a class-specific regression. So we obtain many uh, pose proposals, so 2D and 3D poses with associated uh, score. For, uh, to, to have the final estimate, we could just use non-max uh, suppression. Instead, we, we propose to integrate all these pose proposals, and we group the poses using 2D overlap and 3D pose distance. Then we, we obtain the final estimate by just uh, applying a, wa a weighted average on these uh, groups of poses, obtaining this, the final results. We evaluated our method first uh, in 3D. So we use uh, the motion capture data from the human 3.6M dataset. Here the, the, the error is given uh, in millimeters. So you can see on the right that uh, we outperform all the previously published work by uh, quite a large margin. So in this video, all the frames uh, have been processed independently. So you can see also that we can recover the, the 3D pose in the, in the room uh, reference system if we have the camera parameters. We also estimated uh, the 2D pose estimation error in, in the wild using the MPI database. So you see MPI uh, presents a wide variety of scenes with multi-persons. Um, Interesting things in, on, on the right, on the plot, we can see that uh, the, the post-proposal integration uh, actually uh, performed better than the regular non-max suppression. And we, uh, we also here, we show some more qualitative results. So our test code is available online. If you have any question, please uh, come to our poster. And uh, I thank you for your attention.